Hey everybody, this is Brett and today I'm here at Summit Automotive and we're going to be going over this 2022 Jeep Wagoneer Series 1. This one's in silver Zenith clear coat. And uh, just to get started, you'll notice that it's got a little bit different wheels on it. It has 22 inch dub wheels and we put the 22 inch tires on there as well. We're gonna go all the way around in this video, take a look under the hood, check out the original window sticker, and just give you a really good presentation on this particular Jeep Wagoneer. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and let's get started. Under the hood, we have the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine. It's paired up with the e-torque system, which is kind of a mild hybrid system, electrical system, where it will uh, give you a little bit more torque off the line. Um, 404 foot-pounds of torque and 392 horsepower out of this engine. And it's gonna get you 20 miles per gallon highway, 15 city for a combined average of 17 miles per gallon. Uh, you do get this really cool plate on the engine, front engine shroud here, um, designed in Auburn Hills and built in Warren, Michigan. You also get the emissions sticker right there. We're gonna go check out that original window sticker, so here we go. Here is the original window sticker. You can see 2022 Wagoneer Series 1, starting base price is 61995 you get the 5.7 Hemi with e-torque, eight-speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left there is your standard equipment. So um, you connect five nav, 10.1 inch screen, 10.25 uh, inch cluster display, Apple CarPlay, Google Android Auto, GPS navigation, map and cluster display, and uh, everything else that comes with this standard. Now, exterior of the LED headlamps, LED tail lamps, which we'll check out in just a second. And then the silver Zenith exterior paint is the first optional equipment. It does have the front passenger interactive display and the power lift gate with deleted hands-free features, a 195 credit. Total MSRP is 65,840. Uh, three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. So I did tell you at the beginning of the video that we did install some uh, dub wheels. These are 22 inch flex dub wheels. Bridgestone Dueler tires uh, has a TPN, TPMS sensors and installation adding a total of $6,028.75 to the MSRP. So the sale price on this one is going to be $69,826 to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular vehicle and availability in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website so click that and check us out there let's go check out all those led lights and uh, then we'll check out the interior on this bad boy first off i wanted to go over the uh, wheels on this particular uh, jeep wagoneer because we did put these on custom in our shop uh, you can see that we did add locking lug nuts to it uh, but they're the really nice polished aluminum and painted um, aluminum wheels and they're dub flex wheels they're 22 inches and they come with Bridgestone Dueler HL tires always like these tires they're 285 45R22s and uh, they're kind of a highway tread pattern to them um, but they are brand new the rims are wheels are brand new as well let's go check out all those LED lights so you can see that uh, I got all the lights on here and I'm actually gonna turn all the lights off in just a second, but I did wanna point out, you have your nice LED running lights at the top. You have your Jeep Performance LED headlamps right there. And then you also have your LED fog lamps. Uh, note the seven slotted grill. I like the Wagoneer block lettering on the hood. I think that looks really sharp. And uh, we'll take a quick look at the back here. LED lights in the back as well. They've been proven to shine brighter um, and are actually faster than normal halogen lights uh, in a braking situation. You get the block lettering on the black there as well. You can see it, it's machined, looks really cool. Um, really a good look. So we're gonna turn the lights off so you can see this all lit up with the lights off. So give me one second. What I like is that everything's LED. So the LED license plate lights, the tail lights, the headlights, the fog lights, everything's LED. Looks really good. You can see just how nice and bright those lights are um, in front of the vehicle. 
and at night obviously looks really good as well those corner lights on the fenders light up as well and just a really good look which you'd expect from a top of the line vehicle like the Wagoneer. Let's go check out that interior. So the Series 1 is the entry level um, trim level for the Wagoneer, but that doesn't mean that you don't get a lot of stuff and um, the quality is definitely there with the Series 1, which you'd expect on a $60,000 vehicle. Um, you know, so you get the black leather seats, both these seats are heated, both these seats are cooled, of course, and you get kind of light titanium stitching on there. Uh, power driver seat with lumbar, power passenger seat, does have memory driver seat, factory floor mats, auto headlamps, it does have the power telescopic and tilt steering wheel, so that's really cool. Notice you get the black dash, you also get the uh, granite crystal trim on that dash which is uh, really cool. And then that granite crystal comes around onto the doors as well as the black. There's your memory driver seat, power windows, locks, and mirrors. It does have the Alpine sound system. Um, take a quick look at the back seats. This one comes with the second row bench seating. You get a uh, latch child safety system for any child car seats you may have. Rear air controls, you get two USBs back here, two USB-Cs. So Whoever's back here can charge their electronic devices, 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, and a 12 volt power point. So no matter what somebody has to charge, they should be able to do it. To get these seats, uh, you can do the backrest down like so um, for extra storage if you gotta haul a bunch of stuff. Or you can put the press that button and it almost automatically goes all the way forward. You gotta push it up just a little bit, but you can see how much room there is to get to the back seats, which I really like. And uh, you can see there's a lot of room in that third row. And it's uh, three seats back there, so it's a full eight passenger vehicle. And I'm gonna show you me getting into the vehicle just so you can see uh, how easy it is and how much room I have uh, when I'm back there, so. So the thing I like most about the uh, Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer as far as a third row vehicle is being able to get into this third row easily and uh, comfortably and you can see those seats go up nicely and I'm going to show you just me getting in there. First thing is that they have a big step bar so it's easy to get in and once you're back here there's a lot of room and uh, I'm six foot these seats are back pretty far and I still have a good four to five inches from my knees to the back seats. The other uh, nice thing about these seats is that they do recline a little bit and uh, recline forward. Obviously you can put them down and everything, but it's really comfortable back here and it's really easy to get in. It's really easy to get out. So if you see you getting out, there's headroom, so that's easy. I don't have to bend over too far. And when I do get out, there's that nice big step bar there. That's easy to get in and out. So really like the third row, really like the Wagoneer, the setup. And next year they're coming out with the Wagoneer L, so that's gonna be great too. The one last thing I wanted to go over on the Wagoneer here is the uh, back storage area, of course. There's a button right there to get this gate up that is uh, a fixed glass window there uh, so that does not go up but you can see there's quite a bit of room on the uh, Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer and next year for 2023 or this year I should say they're coming out with the um, Wagoneer L and Grand Wagoneer L so you're gonna have more room behind the back seats uh, kind of like a Suburban or a full-size um, Expedition Max Anyways, uh, you do get a little storage area back here, and these seats do fold down. You just have to, uh, oh, this is where the strap is. I actually did a video on where those were. So those seats do go down like so, and you can see just how nice and flat that they go down. Now they're a manual up and down, but this vehicle is also 
priced way less than most of them. So anyways, that's how that works. And uh, let's uh, go check out that second row. Actually, I'm gonna show you how you get this gate down. You press this button here. And I did wanna show you one more little feature on this Wagoneer. So there is a button right here. So what that button does is this vehicle has the enter and go system. So say you have your keys in your pocket and you're at the back of the vehicle, you're grabbing your last stuff, you're ready to go to the beach or you're ready to go wherever and you don't want to uh, get your key out of your pocket or find it in your purse or whatever. So you just wanna lock the vehicle. That's what this button right here does. If you have your key in your pocket, you press that, it'll lock all the doors, um, just like the buttons on the doors. So that is that. So one of my favorite things about the Wagoneer is when you start up this 10.25 inch display here has some really neat animation. Get the compass with the Wagoneer um, writing right there. It's just really cool. Anyways, um, you get your digital speedometer, you have your outside temperature display, your tack right there, uh, speedometer, uh, odometer down there, and you have all your different driving settings. Um, you can also do your multi-screens here, which has your tire pressure sensors, your current MPG, your radio, what's going on there, your uh, steering angle, and all that good stuff. So uh, really a cool instrument cluster there. You also have the uh, flat bottom steering wheel set up just like all the other Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge products, um, information center controls and Bluetooth on the left and then cruise controls on the right. You get the audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. It is a heated steering wheel, so that is nice as well. Let's see if I can get this radio on. So this is the 10.1 Uconnect 5. So it's uh, supposed to be five times faster than the old Uconnect 4. Uh, you can see that you obviously get the navigation system on there. And uh, it's really quick. It's, it's a nice system. It's really clear and uh, easy to use. You also have your home screen. You've got AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You have all your different apps in here. Um, if you go to all, you can see all of them. It has Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, um, heated steering wheel, vented seats, your nav. Uh, you can check out your rear view camera, which is HD and crystal clear. You can zoom in on your receiver hitch to get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time every time, which is really nice as well. And then this one I saw has the off-road pages. Um, so I just need to find those and we can check those out because they're kind of neat especially if you do a lot of off-roading. So you have your steering angle there. You have if your transfer case is locked or unlocked, you have your different accessory gauges, pitch and roll, and select terrain. You also have um, your latitude, longitude, altitude, and then uh, your four-wheel drive system is the Quadra Track 2, I believe, on this one because you get your different sand, snow, mud, auto, and sport. Right now it's in sport, or it's in auto, but if you go to snow, you can see the terrain settings change up there, sand, mud, and then uh, sport mode gives you the drag strip right there. So a lot of cool stuff that you can do with this radio. Uh, down here are your manual climate controls. Now you can do climate controls up here if you want as well, but if you don't like using the buttons and knobs, you can do them down here as well. So you get a storage area in there. Let's turn the lights so you can see it. Um, and then this is your controls for your passenger side um, HDMI for your passenger uh, screen. That's over there. You get an AUGS, USB-C, and USB. And uh, just a nice big storage area, 12 volt power point. So if you had to store something in there to charge it, tablet or whatever, um, easy to do. Eight speed automatic transmission. You get two cup holders right here. And uh, start stop capability, stability control. Uh, those are actually like electronic buttons. Your hazard lights, 
parking sensors tow haul mode that's to turn that's what that is that's to turn that screen on so that's off that's on so you can see passenger can control stuff from their side as well plug in the hdmi hdmi and uh do stuff from there here's your key fob with your remote start on there and uh yeah thanks for checking out the video we'll finish her off right now all right, everybody, thanks for checking out the video. If you liked it, give us a like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. It's always much appreciated. And uh, if you do that, you'll get subscribed to our channel and you'll get updates if you click the bell notifications on all the videos we do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. Thank you so much for checking out the video and hope you have a great day.